Hello children. I hope you all fine at home. In this today's video session, we are going to start the term 2 unit 1 poem. The poem of adventure. Children, do you know what is adventure? An adventure is an unusual, exciting and daring deed. In this poem, the poet George Crocos talks about the olden days of adventure and how the knights were very bold. Come, let's get into this poem. Hello children, today we are going to learn Term 2, Unit 1, Poem, The Poem of Adventure. Children, do you know what is adventure? An adventure is an exciting experience that is typically bold, sometimes risky undertaking. Adventures may be activities with some potential for physical danger such as traveling, exploring, parasailing, mountain trekking, scuba diving, NCC camp. Children, do you know what are the adventure activities of NCC? Yes, it is mountain trekking, parasailing, scuba diving, kayaking. What is kayaking? Kayaking is the use of a kayak for moving across water. A kayak is a load to the water, canoe-like boat in which the pedaler sits facing forward, legs and front using a double-bladed pedal to pull front to back on one side and then the other in rotation. Ok children, do you know when can you join the NCC? Yes, you can join the NCC after completing 12 years. Then what is the motto of NCC? The motto of NCC is to provide a suitable environment to motivate the youth to take up a career in the armed forces. Children, why do we need adventure in life? We need adventure in life to be confident, decisive and self aware Let's enter into this poem and learn what the poet says about the adventure. The poet George Cocos was born on 30th June 1951 in Samos, Greece and now lives in Melbourne, Australia. He is an aspiring poet who has written quite a number of poems inspired by nature, science, philosophy and the spiritual aspects of life. He has studied Eastern and Western religions and associated philosophy for over 35 years and has practiced various forms of yoga and meditation. Let's read the poem. Deep inside the mountain, the adventures hide themselves. They are of all forms and shapes. They all have an excellent ending because those that live their lives in adventure, see the world in an extraordinary special way. To attract the adventures into the patterns of habit, you only need to close your eyes and ask them to embrace you. You can also imagine that you are transparent and feel the wind stream through you instead of going against you. Or imagine there are tiny little wings on your back and every time you take a new step, you bounce a bit. Maybe life itself is one big adventure if only you have the correct shades on. Back in the days of old, when knights were bold, who with a sword or lance, in Homer's sword, romance. It was the age of chivalry long ago in man's history when to fight for a righteous cause one did gain considerable applause. It was mainly for show, love and glory they deemed themselves being worthy to capture the heart of some fair maiden which was the most desired prize laden. Ho, 
they would strike heavy blows on all of their opponents and foes in a one to one combat defying death as crowds watched with abated breath yes it was far back in those days of yore that courage and strength came to the fore where there was this life and dead struggle such issues at hand the knights would juggle and in fighting for their country faith and king noble impressions on people's minds would ring that even through the ages are held in high esteem those knights in shining armor do now all seem there are many legends based on their heroic exploits a legacy of tales which have been told with much adroit highlighting aspects of human wisdom related to virtue and vice and the lessons to be learned are those of goodness and sacrifice history usually repeats itself time and again as it often happens a situation comes when we are asked to do something for a just cause and acting with chivalry we should not pass by george corcos let's see the explanation of this poem deep inside the mountain the adventures hide themselves they are of all forms and shapes they all have an excellent ending because those that live their lives in adventure see the world in an extraordinary special way children we already know what is adventure an unusual and exciting typically hazardous experience or activity okay why adventure is important in our life because an adventure involves challenging ourselves or trying out something new in life along with it adventure expands and broaden our mind and makes us learn new and unique things which were unknown before so adventure is very important in our life from the stanza 1 the poet says deep inside the mountain we can see many adventures they are of different forms and shades those who live in the world of adventures the poet said that they have a excellent ending because they see the world in an extraordinary special way to attract the adventures into the patterns of habit you only need to close your eyes and ask them to embrace you you can also imagine that you are transparent and feel the wind stream through you instead of going against you or imagine there are tiny little wings on your back and every time you take a new step you bounce a bit here the word embrace means hug bounce means jump up and down happily from the stanza 2 the poet says to make adventure as a habit one should close one's eyes and ask adventures to embrace you you should not go against adventure instead you can allow the air of adventure to pass through you or you can imagine that you have tiny little wings on your back and every time you walk you can bounce a bit and move forward here the word embrace means hug and bounce means jump up and down happily maybe life itself is one big adventure if only you have the correct shades on back in the days of old when knights were bold who with a sword or lance in armor south romance here the word lance means a long weapon with a wooden shaft and a pointed steel head formerly used to buy a horseman in charging armor means metal covering on body 
From stanza 3 the poet says that life is a big adventure if you enjoy each and every moment of it in olden days the bold knights with sword or lance and in armor they expressed their love for war and bravery it was the age of chivalry long ago in man's history when to fight for a righteous cause one did gain considerable applause. Here the word chivalry means the medieval knightly system with its religious, moral and social code. From the stanza 4, the poet says that long ago during the knightly system, it was in the man's history when they should fight for a good cause, they also gained a good extent of applause for their deeds. It was mainly for show, love and glory they deemed themselves being worthy to capture the heart of some fair maiden which was the most desired prize laden. Oh, they would strike heavy blows on all of their opponents and foes in a one-to-one -one combat, defying death as crowds watched with abated breath. Here the word deemed means considered, maiden means young woman, laden means heavily loaded, force means an enemy or opponent, combat means fight, defying means refuse to obey, abated means unpleasant or reduced. From the stanza 5, the poet says that this was mainly to show their strength, love and glory. They considered that their boldness and bravery will win the heart of some fair maiden. Maiden means young woman. They considered it is best gift. This shows their love. They wanted to have glory and fame wherever they want. So, they fought with their enemies bravely and even captured and killed them in one-to-one -one combat while other people were watching them abstract. Yes, it was far back in those days of yore that courage and strength came to the fore where there was this life and death struggle such issues at hand the knights would juggle here the word your means long ago four months placed in front juggle means balanced everything or cope with balancing in this stanza the poet says in those days asian days courage and strength were given importance first there was a struggle between life and death such issues were handled bravely by the knights. And in fighting for their country, faith and king, noble impressions on people's minds would drink that even through the ages are held in high esteem, those knights in shining armor do now all seem. Here the word esteem means respect, armor means metal covering body. From this stanza, the poet says that knights fought for their country, faith and king. The good deeds done by the knights remain in the mind of people even after so many years. They are always kept in a high position. These knights are even seen remembered now in shining armor. There are many legends based on their heroic exploits. A legacy of Tales which have been told with much adroit, highlighting aspects of human wisdom related to virtue and vice, and the lessons to be learnt are those of goodness and sacrifice. Here the word exploits means daring feat, tales means story, adroit means clever or skillful, virtue means highly moral, wise means immoral, legacy means handed down by predecessors. From this stanza, the poet says that there are many old stories on the heroic adventures. Such tales are narrated skillfully and interesting. 
These tales highlights the aspects of human wisdom related to virtue and vice. From those tales, we should learn the lesson of good men and sacrifice. History usually repeats itself time and again as it often happens a situation comes when we are asked to do something for a just cause and acting with chivalry we shouldn't pass here the word chivalry means courageous from this stanza the poet says that history reminds with us always it teaches us so many things when situation comes we have to make a use of it to do something for a just cause boldly and bravely let us see the summary of this poem the poet says that adventure is hidden in various forms and shapes in the mountain he says that people who are adventurous have an excellent hand as they see the world in an extraordinary way we should allow the air of adventure to pass through us instead of going against us in olden days the life of knights were adventurous as they traveled to many places fighting with their enemies the good deeds of the knights were applauded by people people were awestruck by seeing the bravery of knights there are many legends which highlights all human values history reminds with us as long as we live it tells us to face any sort of difficulties and be successful in life i hope you all understand children let's see the glossary of this poem lance a long weapon with a wooden shaft and a pointed steel head formerly used by a horseman in charging chivalry the medieval knightly system with its religious moral and social code abated unpleasant impressions feelings exploits adventure adroit clever or skillful now we will see the rhyming words from this poem old bold lands romance chivalry history glory worthy maiden laden blows thus struggle juggle king ring esteem seen exploits adroit wise sacrifice again when cause pass your four thank you